the talk of everything we learn outside of the classroom and in, to a minor degree, about the, um, the mission of the College of Idaho graduate to make a difference in the community at large. Ed and Martha have certainly done that. Um, Ed and Martha are both elementary ed graduates of the College of Idaho, as are Jane and I. Class of 1967 for Ed and Martha. They were hired as elementary teachers in Anchorage, Alaska. The hiring principals knew of the College of Idaho and they chose them because of its reputation for quality teacher education. Ed and Martha wrote some notes here and they said they especially appreciated Dr. Robert Wendt and Dr. Ward Tucker of the Education Department, two names that still stand tall in my mind. They continued to correspond with Bob and Ruth Wendt, who now live in Montana. Ed and Martha sang the choir under the enthusiastic direction of Dr. Jim Gabbard and continue to sing in choirs to this day. At the college, they fondly remember experiences such as singing with Dr. Robert Shaw and dancing the Duke Ellington's band. Other influential professors, part of the great college community that we all hold so dear, include Dr. Bill Chalker, Professor Max Peter, Dr. Franklin Specht. Ed and Martha have individually and collectively volunteered for numerous organizations. The list uh, in the program could be a lot longer, but the difference they've made has been indelible. Um, one of their pride and joys, I guess you could call it, is the Kessler Keener Lecture Series. In 1998, Ed and his sister Dorothy, Dorothy brother Jerry, Father Keith, and Pastor Mark Davis of uh, Boise First Presbyterian Church created the Kessler Keener Lectures as a non-profit, non-denominational non organization to honor the legacy of human rights work of Ed's mother, Martha Keener, and grandfather, Harry Kessler. And Harry Kessler also has a scholarship here at the CMI in his name. To date, the Extraordinary Witness Lecture Series has produced 11 successful events promoting, providing thousands of Idahoans with opportunities to be inspired by people known nationally and internationally for their work in human rights, peace, and justice. We are humbled and grateful for this award. Ed and I graduated, as you can tell by our hair color, before computers and before Google, even before air quotes. <laughs> but we learned at the College of Idaho that even if we don't know all the answers, we can learn how to search for answers. And so now these two graduates have Google to find answers. So we use Google. In fact, I'm the Google queen. So it was suggested that I talk about what I learned in college. Or I could add from my parents because they were CMI graduates in 2930. Well, number one would be marry a smart, pretty, witty woman while you can. <laughs> Don't pass up your opportunities. Actually, Martha and I were in our childhood sweethearts. We met in the seventh grade. But attending the college only solidified our affection for one another on 43 years of marriage. Number two, all of us are in this together. Regardless of our place in our society, we create and contribute to the common welfare, the common good of Idaho, of this nation, and of this world. We graduated as public educators, public school teachers, elementary. Public education and public school teaching is the call to educate all children and youth within our borders. Teachers deserve our respect. Through their creative energies, they earn a place of great importance and deserve full funding to accomplish a key component of the American experience. Being a teacher means the op opportunity to sacrifice for the education and future of others. It is as significant as other serving, sacrificing occupations. Unfortunately, we don't hear much of that in these days. The teaching profession recognizes that the welfare of the common is greater than any one of us, greater than one's own personal happiness, one's wealth, or even our freedom. This common good creates equity and dignity for all persons regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of their country of origin, their economic status, 
whether they're documented or undocumented, whether they have dark skin or light skin, all humans deserve the right of an education. Number three, as educated citizens and persons of wealth, of which we are in this room, we are wealthy people, we have a responsibility to future generations. Those who've gone before us have led the way as our examples of service. And we now lead the way of service for generations who will follow. Though two of us are, to, are acknowledged today, all of us who volunteer in our communities, who serve alongside of and on behalf of others, are to be acknowledged and congratulated as contributing to a better, just, and more humane world. That better world we hope for and envision requires all of us in creating the better future. So, add college diploma one Saturday, marriage license the next Saturday. <laughs> Thank you for your love and support. We are so very pleased, we are so very pleased with this award. Thank you. <laughs>